Hello my fellow ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new, welcome on into my channel. Take your shoes off, take your coat off, and I hope you choose to stay a while. Now, with the upcoming Halloween holiday, I thought why not make a video pertaining to Halloween. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays ever. I love everything spooky and scary. My favorite genre of movies is horror movies. So like Halloween is right up my alley. So in this video, I will be giving my favorite to least favorite celebrity Halloween costumes. Now disclaimer, this is my opinion. And if you have your own opinion, make your own video or leave a comment down below, but be respectful. Now, I am going to also say, Halloween is supposed to be fun. Dress up, have fun, go trick or treating, go to a Halloween party, depending on what age range you are in. Halloween is supposed to be fun. So yes, while I know that these costumes don't have to be so serious, it's just, I do expect a bit, just a tiny bit more from celebrities because y'all have the means to make really great costumes. So why not use that to your advantage and do a really good costume. Now, the worst Halloween costumes on my list range from like cultural appropriation to just downright insensitive, and some are just ugly, <laughs> in my humble opinion. Like I said, you are a celebrity, you have the means to make a great costume, use it to your advantage. Now, I did pick 12 for each category, so 12 of my favorite and 12 of my least favorite. Of course, I had to narrow it down because there are plenty plenty of examples out there on the internet of celebrity Halloween costumes, but this video would be two hours long if I went through every single celebrity's Halloween costume for every year. So I just had to narrow it down. So 12 for each category and I'll just be going back and forth. So I'll start with the best and start with the worst, then just keep going back and forth. So let's jump right into it. Now my first best is The Weeknd's Joker. You cannot tell me that is not Jack Nicholson in that picture. That like, I had to do a double take when I saw that picture for the first time because I legit thought that was Jack Nicholson. He aced that costume, 10 out of 10. Now my first worst is The Rock as Mufasa. I mean, did you even try? The mane doesn't even fit. Let's move on. Next for best, we have Lady Gaga as Edward Scissorhands. Once again, you cannot tell me that right there is not Johnny Depp dressed up as Edward Scissorhands. She aced this look. Give my girl her tens. Give, give her her tens. She ate that look. Now for next, we have another pop icon, but her costume was pretty lackluster. And I have to give it to my girl, Katy Perry as a Cheeto. Need I say more? I mean, like I said, Halloween is supposed to be fun and you just do silly little costumes, but that one just wasn't hidden for me. I would not pick her up out of my bag. Now, next for my best is the queen of Halloween herself, Heidi Klum as Jessica Rabbit. I'm not saying I'm looking, but I'm looking. Now we have a next worst, another icon that I love, but she had to go on the chopping block. Tia Mari as a geisha. I mean, it was 2013, but still cultural appropriation has been out of style. Keep up, sister, sister. Next, we have one of my favorite celebrity families or couples. We have Jay-Z and Beyonce as Barbie and Ken. Black Barbie and Ken. Next, for worse, we have Ben Platt as a 70s man. I mean... I mean, the clothes do give 70s, I'll give him that, but there's nothing like extraordinary about this outfit that just screams like, oh, I'm a person from the 70s. You know, like, I'm pretty lackluster. They look like clothes he already had in his closet. So it's like, did you even put much effort or thought into this? For the next best, we have a recent costume that I am absolutely in love with and I keep looking at pictures of it, is Megan Fox as Gogo Yubari from the Kill Bill franchise. like. She looks freaking good. Like, she makes me want to dress up as that for Halloween. Like, and I already have my costume planned out, but I want to redo everything after seeing this. Next for worst on my list is Kim Kardashian as a mermaid. 
Now, Kim, very beautiful woman. She is flawless, but mm, pretty lackluster. I mean, the top, <laughs> I will give her tens where tens are due. That top is gorgeous on that costume. But I mean, that's it. The bottom is, looks like it's cheap material. I'm sure it isn't because it's Kim Kardashian, but that's the way it looks. So I'm just not pleased with that outfit as a whole. Next for best, we have Harry Styles, Mr. Album of the Year himself as Elton John. That is the rocket man himself. Like that, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like he looks great. Even if you're not a Harry Styles fan, you cannot deny that man looks great in that costume. He, he, eight. Nothing left on that plate. Crumbs, nothing. Next we have Ariel Winter as a nurse ghost. I really don't know what the direction here was, but you go girl, A for effort. Next for my best, we have Gigi Hadid as Sandy from Greece. Now, while a very simple costume, all you need is a curly blonde wig and a black, you know, cat suit, bodysuit type situation, and boom, you're Sandy from Greece. But she just looks great. I have to give her her 10. She just devoured. She looks good. Now, this next person on my worst list, I'm not really too sure how to pronounce her last name, but Kelly Ben Simon, Ben Simon, sorry, I know I butchered that. Please forgive me. But her as a bunny. This lady just put on a one piece black cutout bathing suit looking thing and some bunny ears and called herself a bunny. Okay. Next for my best, we have Iggy Azalea as Cruella DeVille. Now, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't leave my Dalmatian around that one. Next on my worst list, we have Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian as Sid Vicious and Nancy. Now, while they do look good in their outfits and they do resemble the actual people, when knowing what actually happened to the actual people, it just left the bad taste in my mouth. I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of dressing up as not good people and Sid Vicious is one of them. So I, they have to go in worst. I'm sorry, but that was, that's a little bit insensitive to me. Now we have Miss Darisha Kitty. <laughs> we have Doja Cat as Miss Sarah Bellum. Now, when I say body yadi 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 yadi, Doja gonna serve it each and every time. Okay. Next on my worst list, we have Taylor Swift as a squirrel. It was cute. It was, it was cute. It's just Taylor girl. I know you got that coin. I know you got that nice coin. Why did you put on a squirrel jumpsuit with this big old tail in the back that looks not proportionate? Like I said, it was cute. Next on my best list, we have the Carters as the Proud family. Now, now, now. Like, I love the Carters. I love Beyonce. So, yeah, this is her second time appearing on this list. Are you surprised? But I, the, the Proud family is one of my favorite childhood shows ever, ever. And the fact that Destiny's Child and Solange are on the soundtrack, that was perfect for me. And then when Beyonce was pregnant with her twins and we found out it was a boy and girl twin, I was like, this is literally the Proud family. You got the mama, Trudy, you got the dad, Oscar, you got the oldest daughter, Penny, and you got the two twins, BB and Cece. Like that, that's literally Beyonce's life. She manifested this by singing that um, theme song. She's great, I love her. Next on my worst list, the queen of Halloween herself has made a comeback on this list, but not for the better. It's Heidi Klum as the goddess Kali, Kali, Kali. If I'm not pronouncing that correctly, please correct me in the comments. I don't mean to butcher that goddess's name, but um, back to cultural insensitivity. I just, certain things you just don't double and dabble in and that's other people's cultures and their religions and things of that nature. I just, things you just don't touch. Next on my best list, Y'all are gonna hate me, and I swear I'm not biased. Maybe a little bit. But Beyonce again. Uh, Beyonce as Lil Kim, the original Queen B. <laughs> but no, like, you cannot look me in my two eyeballs through my 
thick glasses lenses and tell me Beyonce did not eat that hollow wing look up. That's little Kim. Like, just look at the pictures. Need I say more? Need I say more? I have one more for my best and one more for my worst. Now, let's get into them. The worst goes to Snooki as a pickle. Now, this one hurts my heart because I am a avid Jersey Shore watcher and I la 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 love me some Snooki. Miss Nicole, I love me some Snooki. That is my girl. And me and her share a mutual love for pickles. I love pickles. Like, pickles are great. I eat pickles straight out the jar just like Snooki does. But her going as a pickle, pretty lackluster. I, maybe I'm just not a fan of people going as food because I had a problem with Katy Perry or the Cheeto as well. So maybe food as a Halloween costume just isn't my thing. I don't know. But I love my girl Snooki, my short queen. We in the same boat, girl. We both love pickles. Like, that's my sister. But I have to give worst to her pickle outfit. I just can't get into it. And my last best costume goes to Mariah Carey as an 80s rocker. Now, this is how you show love dressing up from a different decade. I don't know what Ben Platt was thinking up with their 70s, man, but this is clear that she's an 80s rocker. Like, I can look at her and be like, oh yeah, I get it. Like, I can see that in her outfit. So, of course, she had to go on my best list, and she's Mariah Carey, the diva of divas of all time. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me giving my opinion on some of my favorite and least favorite Halloween costumes from some of our favorite celebrities. And if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, you know? I'm gonna be spitting out bangers like this all the time. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below some of your favorite celebrity Halloween looks. Also, for everybody celebrating Halloween this um, upcoming Tuesday or whenever you're celebrating Halloween, Please be safe, know that I love you and that you matter, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.